All right, brush monkeys, we are back, and I actually ended up getting a whole lot more done than I intended to. Uh, I was waiting for the camera to charge, and <laughs> it ended up taking longer to charge than I thought it would, and so I ended up basically getting all the priming done that I meant to do um, without really meaning to get it done. I wanted to talk a little bit about why I primed them the way I did and what I, how I'm going to paint them because I'm going to try something a little different with these. Um, I was reading in the codex that uh, there's nothing in the codex that says that all the units of an army all have to be from the same order, if that makes sense. The, the Sisters of Battle have different orders. Uh, order of the Sacred Rose, Order of the Our Martyred Lady, Order of the Valor's Heart, all this kind of thing. And there's nothing that says that the entire army all has to be of the same order. So I decided I was going to do each separate unit as a different order. So the cannoness is going to be, she's going to be one order, okay. Then the battle sisters are going to be order of our martyred lady. The um, seraphim are going to be a different order. The sister, uh, the repentance superior is going to be a different order. All that kind of thing. And so I'm going to do them all a little bit differently. Um, and I also did the uh, Zenithal priming on them a little bit differently too. I didn't use black. I went straight forward gray for the base coat and then white for the 45 degree angle uh, instead of black undertones, gray midtones, and then white highlights like I normally do. And I think what this is going to do is it's going to enable that detail it's going to enable the um, paints to really stand out and really pop on these. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to do a combination of regular paints, of uh, contrast paints, of Vallejo Metallics, the alcohol-based stuff, and, um, and I'm going to try a variety of different techniques. Um, so because of the contrast paints, I really wanted them to have a fairly light, although not bright white, base coat to start from. And I think I've managed to achieve that with the, the gray base and then the white at 45 degree angles. And I used white ink on this instead of uh, white paint. So there's spots where it looks a little lighter than others, spots where it looks a little darker than others. And that's a variation of the ink. So I think that... I think that's going to come out looking really good when I get it done. Um, uh, I've got I've got a lot of videos ahead of me here. Um, each one of these units is going to be a separate video, so I'm going to start off next week with the Canoness, starting on painting her, and then um, start in on the rest of them. Uh, just go, you know, the week after that will be the. Uh, Battle Sisters, and then the, let's see, da, 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 da. let me check, Canada's next week, Battle Sisters, then Seraphim, then Repentia Superior, and then the Repentia, I'm doing that as two separate videos, then the Archiflagellants, and then the um, Penitent Engine there, and then I've got a couple other videos waiting in the wings for after that but that should take me through till about the middle of March so tune in next week and uh, I hope I can do these ladies justice so I will see you later bye hey brush monkeys uh, Tom from flying monkey studios here if you like what you see click like if you uh, want to find out when uh, new videos get posted Click subscribe, comment below on what you want to see on future videos, visit our Patreon site for uh, lots of ways that you can support me in doing what I do. You can also visit our Instagram and Facebook pages to see all the miniatures that I paint on this channel and see how you can get your hands on one of your own. Uh, so thanks a lot for your time and thanks for watching my videos and I will see you guys later. Bye.